We've been told over and over, Black Lives Matter. There's the egg being thrown at him, barely misses him. A member of Larry Elder's presumably security team, I do not know this man, but he has an earpiece in, he gets punched in the face. According to the lefties, this behavior is okay. You have an African-American man who would become the first African-American governor of California who's running. He gets attacked. A person wearing an ape suit throws an egg, nicks the top of his head. He barely ducks, misses it. And then his security detail confronts her. She smacks him in the face. He gets assaulted, attacked. A bike is thrown at him. A member of Larry Elder's presumably security team. I do not know this man, but he has an earpiece in. He gets punched in the face. And he barely escapes Larry Elder in a car to get out of the area. And we're supposed to believe that this is okay. We're supposed to believe that this is consistent with Black Lives Matter. We're supposed to believe that this is consistent with don't be violent. Think of it this way. What has Larry Elder been called? He's been called the black face of white supremacy. What in the hell does that even mean? Think about it. How can you be the black face of white supremacy? First of all, white supremacy, where the hell is it anyway? I don't see anybody in California walking around with hoods on. I don't think I've ever met anybody who's part of the KKK, all that crap. Okay, that was a Democrat thing to begin with. Let's think back and be accurate here. But really, the black face of white supremacy Talk about a lie on top of a lie. That is the left wing tactic these days is to double down, not just lie once, but to lie twice, three times, etc. And it's about time we start calling them out on it and holding them accountable because it is a big, bold faced lie. And it also is a denigration of Larry Elder himself, who would become the first African American governor for California if he's able to, God willing, win this next Tuesday. The golden rule is what is missing here. You do not do to others what you would not want done to you. And this is a major fatal flaw of the left. Because the problem is, how can we believe you with all of your excessive and ridiculous rules if you can't even keep them yourself?